Hello and welcome back to Code Blocks. This is lesson four. In the last tutorial, we talked about how to install Code Blocks on your system, and in this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to create a project on Code Blocks. Before we proceed, let's take a look at what to call a project in Code Blocks. Code Blocks create what is called a workspace to keep track of the projects you are working on. It is possible for you to be working on multiple projects within your workspace. So we can say a project is a collection of one or more source or other files. And what we mean by source files? Source files are the files that contain the source code for your program. If you are developing a C++ program, you are writing C++ source code, that is .cpp files. Other files are used when you are creating libraries. That is .h files. So a library is a collection of functions that are called to perform specific tasks, such as doing math, etc. So talking about the importance of projects, we say projects help to keep track of all our files in an organized way. When we are first starting out in computer programming, generally your project will consist of a single source file. However, as you gain experience and work on more complex projects, you have projects containing many source files and dealing with other files as well. So, we are going to be demonstrating how to create a project now on code blocks. Now we'll be creating a project on code blocks. We already installed the software in the last tutorial, and we're going to navigate to the icon here and double click. Now, this is our code blocks interface. It's already open. You can see a lot of ribbons here, a lot of options for us. We are going to be talking about this fully in the next tutorial. But for us to see most of this, we have to learn how to create a new project first. That's why we'll be letting this tutorial come before the following tutorial. Now, there are a couple of options available for you to create a new project on code blocks you can actually go through this way or you can click on file click on new and click on projects you can also create shortcuts we are going to be talking about this fully in consecutive lectures how to create a shortcut on code blocks to perform a particular task you can choose a combination of keys to perform a particular task for you it's quite easy we are going to be seeing this in coming tutorials so let's just navigate here to create a new project. Now we see a lot of options here again. Under project, we see a lot of different code blocks projects you can create. You can create GTK projects, Java applications, Open Safety, Qt4, SFML projects. Now if you come to files, we see a lot of code blocks where you can create. Empty file, Fortran files, div source file, Java source, customs, user templates. For this user template, you can, in future lessons, create a template how you want your file to look like. And we are going to talk about this fully. You can go to build gadgets, different type of projects, console projects, static library, WX widgets. Now you want to go to console projects and click on go. You can next to this. Make sure you are selecting C or C, whichever programming language you want to use. You click on next. Now, here you give your project a title. Let's give our project practice one. Now, if you are opening code blocks for the very first time, this might be blank. This particular folder might be blank. You have to click here and select the folder in which you want your project to be saved in. Then you select the folder. Then you click on next. Now I've asked you to leave all these default settings as it is. Now here we are, we have created our project. Now we didn't see anything, there's nothing that displays here. We can type anything. 
what you have to do is to go to source over here click the plus button code blocks automatic create automatically creates a c plus plus file for you you can double click on main.cpp and this will open here we can now type we can edit our code and this is automatically generated code it's not written it comes it's one of the standard in code blocks so it automatically generates a program for you and this program simply prints hello world so this is simply how to open a project on c++ now another way you can also open a project is go to file as i said earlier and click on projects now we are still back here again you can select different projects you want and you'll be good to go so that's it simply how to create a project on code blocks the next tutorial will be taking a look at the functions of all the ribbons that's been displayed on our interface and how to talk how to deal with build messages and all the ribbons and logs and others so thank you for joining us in this tutorial and i'm going to see you in the next tutorial